everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. So last time we made this game where the basket moves left and right and it has to catch the ball and dodge the bomb. So let's see the game. So it increases the score by 1 if you touch the ball and it decreases your score by 2 if it touches the bomb. So today we're going to make a quiz game. But before we make this game, I'm going to show you something really cool. So we go to create, and we're going to go to backdrops and drag out, choose a backdrop, and then we're going to choose theatre backdrop, and now I'm going to put a speaker, don't get confused, but the speaker is only for decoration, it won't have any code. And let's move the speaker here and let's move the cat over here. So we're going to change Sprite 1 to cat and change the name to General Knowledge Quiz. So I'm going to show you something really cool. So we can go to events and drag out one green flag clicked as usual. Then we go to Sense Sync and drag out Ask Your Name and Wait. Let's click the green flag and see what happens. It will ask what's your name and the right R of. And press Enter. Then it will do nothing. But we want something to happen. So we go to Looks and drag out Say Hello. And it will just say Hello R of. And let's see if it works. So I'm going to type in Arav, and it will say, hello Arav, or if we type in a different name, let's see what it will do. So I'm going to type in Leon into my brother's name, and it will say, hello Arav, but we want it to say, hello Leon. So what I'm going to do is show you something really cool. So I'm going to go to Operators, and drag out Join Apple Banana. What that will do is, we'll see... It will join the two words together, so it'll say apple banana. So we're gonna go to, so we're gonna drag this in again, but we're gonna change join app, join answer to the answer is the reply you wrote to this question. I'm gonna say hello answer. So let's run it. We'll ask what's your name, and we're gonna say Ira. And then it will say hello Arav. But what if we put we on without changing the code? Then it will say hello we on. So it works. It's really cool. But what I want to show you is how to make the quiz. So we're going to change this question to Where did COVID 19 begin? So I'm going to put in brackets the town and the country. And let's see what happens. So I'm going to ask this question, but we want a reply. So we're going to go to control and drag out an if then else block. So what this does is basically... So if a condition is true, then it will go run what's in, so then it will do what's inside here. But what if that condition is not true, then it will do what's inside the else part. So we're going to put a condition. So we go to operators and drag out something is equal to 50 and go to sensing and drag out an answer. So if answer is equal to Wuhan, China, that's where it began. And then we're going to go to looks and drag out say hello because we want the, car the cat to alert them if they got it right or wrong. So we're going to say, you got it right. And instead we're going to say, you got it wrong if we don't say Wuhan, China. And let's run it. So let's type Wuhan, China. And then it will say you got it right. But what if we don't put it capital letters? Then 
it's still going to say you got it right because it doesn't really matter. So that's really cool. But what if we type in me? Which is definitely not the answer because COVID-19 didn't begin in me. We'll say you got it wrong. So that's the first question. We're gonna just I'm gonna make another question and show you. So the next question is who is the prime minister of India? And then it will so just to explain it a bit more. It will do this part first, then it will go on to the next question. So we're going to let them if they got it right or wrong. So we're going to go to control and drag out the same block like usual. And go to operators and drag out the same equal sign. Go to sensing and drag out the same answer. But then now we're going to write the primary stuff. India, his name is her in the movie. So if the answer is not in the movie, then we're going to let them that you got it right. But we're going to let them if we got it wrong. Now we're going to say wrong. Let's run it. So it's going to ask the first question. Where did COVID-19 begin? The town and the country. We put Wuhan, China. Thing is, it won't even tell us if we got it right or wrong. But what we're gonna do is go to control and drag out wait one second and place it under the say to if the under the block where you let them if you got it right or wrong. So it's gonna wait a certain amount of time and then it will go on to the next question. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna type in Wuhan, China. And they'll say you got it right. Wait three seconds, now we go on to the next question. So let's see if it works. And they'll say right, so it does work. So I'm going to show you a, a few hacks and tweaks to make your game a bit better. So what we're going to do is after you let them you got it wrong, we're going to tell them the correct answer. So we're going to write the correct answer is, and then we'll tell them the correct answer. And we'll do the same for over here. And also make sure if you want to make a new question, you have to do wait three seconds or a suitable amount of time. And yeah, I showed you how to make the quiz. You can add many more questions. You can even change the questions I did. And yeah. So I'm just before we end this tutorial, I want to show you the full game I made. So this is the full game I made. It got a total of 10 questions, so, and I'll show you the amount of code. It got a lot of code, but don't worry, it's not that complicated. So yeah, you can play this game, it's shared on Scratch, and it will, so it's really cool. So yeah guys, that's it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed, thank you for watching and bye!